Hello everyone, Mr. Google here. Welcome to my video. Today we're going to talk about Black Ops 3. There were journalists and people outside who have played the game and most of my information will come from the website tweakers.net. It's a Dutch website but I currently translated it with Google Chrome. I will place the links in the description so you guys can check it out as well if you want to. And make sure to right click it and with your Google Chrome browser and say translate it into your language over there. But let's get back to it. First information, there will be a beta. You probably knew that already. You can get beta access by pre-ordering it, but if I click on beta, it will also say redeem code. So maybe you will get another way to test the beta for free. So that would be awesome. And currently you can only pre-order it in Canada or in the United States, but let's get to it. First of all, they kind of revised the whole game. At least that's what uh, tweakers.net is writing. And I will try to explain why. Well, they have said that, for example, previously mantling was a slow thing. Press the E button or the X button to mantle over a ladder or something else. This time around, they want you to be in the gunfight all the time instead of just only a little bit. So that should go easier, including with the boosts, which has a separate energy bar. Or you can use the boost to slide or do all bunch of other stuff. But that's not even the most renewing factor. If you thought Advanced Warfare was something different with the boost jumps and the extra suits, well, this is going to be even more renewed or revised or better or worse, however you want to see it. Um, I'm kind of down for that if they manage to get a good PC port because that is the platform where I play on and all of my friends, so there is no need for me to go to console. And the good thing is about the PC version is that the journalists who were there we're actually able to play the game in 4K resolution on 60 frames a second in a co-op mode story. And arguably, they some people stated that you can do it with up to four persons, a co-op version of the campaign. And you can level up your gun and your character and your stats. And you can customize it all in one for the single player. And it will be something separate of multiplayer. That's my current information about single player. But let's jump back to multiplayer. First of all, as said before, there are no extra suits, but your characters can be cyborg-ish. Instead of having regular arms, for example, people who volunteer or they lose their arms, they can get cybernetic arms. And with those arms, you can sometimes use it for something else. I will get back to that as well. So there is boost, there is slides with your energy bar, and there is even some wall running guys. So titanfall does that ring a bell if you have played titanfall you could kind of think of that a little bit according to my info there it is not like titanfall you can only do it a little bit but not everywhere so keep that in mind if that is something where you are looking out for but yeah it the whole idea lo looks pretty interesting so unlimited spirit instead of using specific perks to be able to sprint unlimited you can do it all the time right now mantling it also does it automatically and you should still be able to fire so the kind of the downtime they try to keep it out of the game and one of the most important things i have read in this article which makes it probably more fun in the long run is that treyarch said that they only try to make the maps with two levels so not three levels three story buildings up so your lines of sight get way too big so instead of fighting you're constantly browsing for enemies instead of just fighting so they want to bring up this game in speed because you will run faster and you can move faster but it should be different than advanced warfare so i'm kind of down for that maybe people that are not that into space or future warfare they will not really like this but it kind of comes down to how they will implement the guns Hopefully it will not all be lasers, that's not something I am looking forward to. Uh, because it really feels like a Star Trek uh, thing or whatever. And that's probably not what I'm looking for in a Call of Duty game. But there is no gameplay out there guys, so if you want to look for gameplay there currently is none at the time of recording this video. But there is information of people that have played the game. So yeah, I took a few notes and for example instead of just pressing your space bar or your uh, A or X button to jump, you can hold it to boost higher or tap it to kind of hover around. So 
it can be depleted and if it's depleted you can't use it anymore you can use it omnidirectional so left right forward backward and all of the other stuff so stuff is arguably be probably going to change around because it will take a while before the game release so keep that in mind about everything that i'm about to tell you but yeah it looks interesting guys black ops 3 i the black ops 2 was the last the best port on pc in my opinion the most recent port that was actually flawless without any issues but i will give you guys some more info for example the reloading you can reload while being on a wall you can reload while wall running it will probably be a little bit hard to do pressing a lot of buttons but it is something and the thing in this game is that you should kind of get your flow or momentum so they call it some sort of a skate game where you have to keep your momentum to do your tricks in this scenario gunfights and your movement and all, all of that other good stuff um, arguably that is something that I see in Advanced Warfare as well, which is still fun, but it is not optimal and it, the longevity is not that great in my opinion. I rarely play it. Currently I'm playing GTA, so I am probably going to get the beta, as you guys know. But if you guys want to play it, you probably have to go to the E3. But if you want to make sure and you want to get cheap tickets in Germany, in Cologne, you can go to the Gamescom. And at the Gamescom, I will be there as well with friends. You can most likely play Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's what I did every year and every year it's playable. And after the Gamescom event where you probably had a lot of fun playing it <laughs> or not. There will be a public beta. So... For now, it's only known that you can get it by pre-ordering, but I suggest for now, don't pre-order it yet. You'll probably get a better deal if you're close to it, or pre-order it once the beta is finally coming with a set date. So keep that in mind. I am going to play at the Gamescom, that's one thing for, that is for sure. But let's say I want to talk about the most renewing thing in this game, is that... Instead of the just the wall running and the smoother movement and all of that other stuff, you will also have the ability to create your own weapon. In single player, you can create and upgrade your weapon. And in multiplayer, you can use a whole bunch of layers on top of your regular unlocked camo to customize your, your gun. For example, onto your left, onto the top of your gun and to the right side, you can customize it with 64 layers of text, colors, and you can select the opacity and all of the other stuff but the most innovative stuff is probably you have classes in call of duty not regular classes but in let's say in a MOBA game you have different characters and every character can do something specific with special abilities that is what they're going to bring to black ops 3 and i think it's awesome i do hope they get it balanced because because balance is a hard thing to to do with something new but I can give you a few examples. Currently they have nine different classes and they call it specialist. So it's not the specialist bonus with perks. That's not that. Um, and these journalists, they have played four out of nine specialists, if I'm not mistaken. Currently there is a character which can, yeah, you have to earn up points in the game. If you don't do anything, it will take you about one match to use your special ability only once. And that could be a minigun on your arm, for example, or which is a gun or a special gun thing. Or you can do a jump down maneuver where you can smack the floor, do a lot of damage or one hit kill everyone around you. But it is easily counterable. So you can counter it to try and keep it balanced as far as I know. And you can't do them both. So you have to choose. You either upgrade your gun which can be used uh, one to four times a match, depending on how good you play. That's the thing. Play the objective. You can use it more, uh, which is kind of related back to Titanfall. If you played very good in Titanfall, you played the objective and you get a lot of kills, you can call in your Titan way more than just sitting around in the corner, hiding and doing nothing. So that's a good thing. Treyarch, I'm looking forward to your game. I'm most definitely going to play it and I have all the good faith and I will probably blindly buy it because... You are the guys that always seem to get the PC version right. It was already running in 4K, 60fps, multiplayer in co-op mode. 4K, 60fps already. And it will almost take 
half a year or, or more to before the game is finally launched and it's already running in 4k 60 fps without weird issues but they said they were working on stability issues and they want to bring back call of duty to his pc roots as well so besides the whole console part they are going to bring it back to the pc version and they have openly stated for the first time in four years probably that they want to get it back to the pc version and for me that's important because I really got into Black Ops or Call of Duty only at Black Ops 2. I have played it before on consoles, but on the PC version, Black Ops 2 is hands down the most stable version which can be run on old systems and it still looks great without frame drops or stuttering issues. This is probably because they have seen that CSGO and a bunch of other games are very popular on Twitch, for example, and some games just stay. And the most popular games on Twitch are mostly MOBAs and other stuff, but Unite the players, don't make it PC versus console, don't make it Xbox versus PlayStation. You play where you want to play on. But yeah, let's get back to the story again. The one example about the specialist characters. So let's talk about Rune, for example. He's the most convenient character. Rune is pretty brutal, a little Viking-like looking character. He is, uses gravity spikes as a weapon. To use that to prune hard, blow spikes in the ground and everything in your immediate neighborhood explodes. He also has the special ability to override, which he can briefly uh, use to sprint a long time. That could be used for capture the flag, for example. Uh, you must use his special arm or his ability. That's what I talked about before. Uh, it, that's different, right? So I do know that there's also another option. You can also play some sort of a cyborg in this game, or well, not a cyborg, just a robot that has gone rogue. It used to be destroyed because it, they were too aggressive. They can't think. They have no emotions and stuff. But you must be into that if you like robots in Call of Duty, I'm not sure. But for example, his ability, he has one ability which is, <laughs> which made me laugh, which is called Glitch. If you spec into that ability, because as said before, you can only pick one ability, which is unique to that character and you cannot change it during a match. You can change your loadout, but not your abilities and character. Which means that you can teleport up to three seconds backwards in time. So if you're shooting someone and it constantly disappears, he could be right behind you if you notice that it's the cyborg, the dude in front of you. It does have a limit on its max range, but the ability itself, it's called glitch. So <laughs> instantly you see someone disappearing and it could be right behind you. That should be fun, hopefully not overpowered. Um, they try to balance it out though, which means that you can only use it one to three times a match, which is not all too much, but they have also said that it should be clear if you spot someone that you can see which character it is, which makes it a little bit easier to take into account about what they can do. So personalizing your character, in, it's all different. This has been done in Call of Duty. It used to be you pick your loadout with your guns. Maybe you upgrade your exosuit or your colors or your fancy other camo or whatever, but it didn't used to have any effect on the game. But now it will have effect on your game. And that's the most renewing thing about that, right? Which is a good thing. So guys, there are three new maps. That's the last thing I want to discuss with you guys for now. One of them is called Combine, the other one is called Hunted, and the other is called Stronghold. So there are, there were already three maps playable already in this time of the year. That is probably because they got three years <laughs> to develop the game right now instead of just two. So. You get an extra year to develop and finish and patch up your game before it will finally release. So this is probably why it will matter a lot in being a little bit more stable upon release. Uh, everybody knows that some games release pretty much broken or as a beta or an alpha version. And yeah, that's not cool, right? Nobody wants to play an alpha if you bought the full game on release. You do want to play the beta if you can play it early, but you know it's beta. That, that Then you want to play, right? But let's get started. Combine, it's... Um, it's situated in Egypt, in the Sahara Desert, in an industrial looking device which is partly intended for research and particularly agriculture. The map is characterized by a modern design and a large open space in the middle of the map. This area attracts automated action as never completely abandoned. In order to open the back zone there are two pathways that may result in flanks. Yes guys, that's cool, right? The layout reminded them of the map Solar from Call of Duty which is a fun map in my opinion, in advanced warfare, with slightly less vertical differences. So that's, that's cool, right? You, um, 
if you take out some of the verticality in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, it will probably be a game that will last longer in the long run, but it's too late for that. It's already out there, probably not going to do that. So my conclusion for now, if you want to read about the other maps, uh, there is also Hunted, which is a completely different than the other ones. But if you, uh, again, if you want to read it, go to the website. But my Conclusion for right now at this moment is probably that it seems to be that it's a, a less cut down version of Advanced Warfare in terms of the spacey feeling, if you want to call it like that. The exosuits are very new in, in Advanced Warfare, but Black Ops 3 will have something similar. It will probably not be something that is fun to play for everyone, but I know I will. The game should be more fast paced, you should run faster, you don't need a perk to sprint longer, you can always sprint if you want to. You are way more mobile and in addition to all of that stuff with moving and boosting, you do have a higher skill cap. That is what's something which makes the game stay longer. Um, competitive wise, if this is something that is highly stable, even on lower end systems, and the system requirements are already known, I will place them in the description later on. They are not high end, they are lower end than Advanced Warfare if I'm not mistaken and if it actually runs great with decent frames on that PC it can be a good eSport game, you never know right? As always guys I hope you enjoyed, I try to combine the most important stuff in just one video and I hope I have succeeded. If you want to read articles go do that in the links in the description and translate it with Google Chrome. As always, thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Make sure to favorite, share or comment and like or whatever on this video that would really help me out guys. Thank you, goodbye, have a nice day.